Open the gates. The gates of hell. Oh, new tyres. Love new tyres. Doesn't seem to really matter what they are, just the fact that they're new and they're actually round rather than square is always nice. Nicey, nicey. So here we are, it's uh, January, Janiver. Um, it's four degrees. This morning was cold. It's a new year. Let's go, let's go left. Let's go this way today. This is Ladbroke Grove, I believe. In Notting Hill. It's nothing like the film. Go on. It's quite all right, sir. Look out, look out. I'm in a good mood. Do you know why I'm in a good mood? Because I've moved. I've mood moved. And um, I think last year I was talking about leaving London. I've done it and it feels so good. And I've just come in for some meetings. I guess that, what's this video? This video is just an update. It's a bit of a cop out when people just say update video, but they're required, I'm afraid, update videos. Because people ask so many questions and want to know what's going on. Stay there, fuckstick. Oh, I'm not allowed to do that. I've been told off for belching. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's like Marmite. The Marmite of gastric world. So, uh, yeah, update video. Um, it's New Year, it's January. Sorry I haven't been videoing much. I've just had so much to do with the office move. Just, just so many things. And I think this, actually, what I'm probably going to say in this video is that you just need to give me a little bit more time and I know I hardly ever upload anyway at the moment but I've just got so much stuff that, to deal with and I'm really stressing out and I just want to um, get it all done get all my ducks in a row as they say I just want to blue sky it you know just get a rough ballpark figure on it and um, get all my shit sorted basically so I can go full barren in 2016 and I think there's going to be so many more opportunities to make content. And I just, one of the key things that I really want to do this year, and again, some of you may not like this, but I want to be positive. I want to try. I want to try and be happier. Mate, you're on the phone and there's an ambulance. Anyway, let's not get stressed. Um, so I want to try and be positive this year and see if it works. It's a year out of my life of trying to be a little less of a miserable prick. So that's something I want to try this year. I've got so many things that are going to happen this year to do with bikes and videos and content. It's going to be super good. If that's a word, super good. And um, am I going to fit my mechanical horse through here? Give it a damn good. I was going to say give it a bash, but I don't want to give it a bash. Maybe just a rash in the gash for cash. Gash for cash. So there's loads of stuff coming up. I'm actually going to San Diego at the end of. Come on, fuckhead. Yeah, don't just chill, you know, don't worry. I'm actually going to San Diego at the end of January. So if anyone's in San Diego area, I think it's literally like the very last couple of days. Uh, I will be there. I will be busy and I'm not there for very long. But I'm sure there's time for a quick beer or something of that sort. Uh, and then I'm going somewhere else amazing, which I can't tell you just yet, but that's gonna happen early March, the 1st of March sort of area. Uh, and I've got the track day coming up in April, which all all tickets have sold. Uh, there's quite a big reserve list. This is the track day at Park Motor I was talking about in the HP4 video, by the way. Um, 
But it's gone down so well, I think we're going to try and squeeze another one in as well for the guys that didn't get on. I will put details up of that. But make sure you're quick. It's got the same bag as me. Nice bag. Yeah. How do you find riding with glasses? Yeah, you need to get like a pin lock for your glasses. Uh, yeah, no, right. There. Fuck that. Do you see the state of his glasses, poor bugger? So, what was I? Yeah, park motor, that's gone really well, sold out. Looking forward to that, so we're just kind of arranging logistics now and how to get there, how to go down, what I'm going on. I think at this point I'm going to take the HP source, or this, or an R1M, or a ZX10R 2016, or the Vonda. Who knows? But it's all very exciting. Let's go down Gold Hawk Road, Ravens Court Park. Let's go that way. I haven't been down that way for years. I used to live down here, and I used to work. This is, I'm, oh, I'm obviously in a really distracted mood. I'm getting just pinged everywhere. So I used to work in this bar. It used to be called Vespa. I don't know what it's called now. It was there. What's it called now? Brew Dog. I used to work there when I was, I took a year out of university. <laughs> Instead of traveling the world, I went to Shepherd's fucking Bush. But I was a cocktail farmer. I could do all the flaring, they call it, when they spin shit throw ice off the backboard and all that shizay and it was one thing I definitely noticed was just how flirtatious girls are at the bar to try and get served they're like mm, like giving you the eye and you think oh I'm in here you serve them the drink and they're like yeah fuck off mate all right thank you thanks darling so now then I used to, after that happened a few times it's like no I'm gonna serve the ugly old men first at least they're genuine they're not vixens Lying vixens. Down in Shepherd's Bush, Bush. Come on there, mate. You can go. Come on. How much room do you need? You've got a Mondeo. Uh, so yeah, park monitor. That's all going well. HP4. That is splendid. Almost all the bits I've got for that. And actually, at this point, because I want a bit of time to think about proper mods to do with it. At this point, I'm... Um, Thank you very much, sir. I'm just going to put it back to road. Get riding it, get using it. And um, think about what it needs and what I would like it to have before I start, just before I've even ridden the thing, jump on it and make something that I don't necessarily want or need. So that's going back to road trim first. I'm going to do some trips on it, use it as a as a daily if I can if it's warm enough and enjoy it but it will be coming to park motor um, what else so office has moved I'm now in my hometown of Farnham I used to kind of like it's funny when you grow up some oh hang on let me just put my old wind flap up this is what cruise control is excellent for by the way you can just do shit like this when you grow up in a town, you're kind of, when you're a kid, you just can't wait to get out. And you're kind of, not ashamed of it, but you're like, oh yeah, that's where I grew up. Oh. But the older you get, the more you realise, actually, that that place was a really nice place. And when you drive around it, you see things and go, oh God, I was sick in that bus stop. It's your heritage at the end of the day. And you can't, you can't hide that. And you shouldn't hide it. You should be proud of it. So I'm going to, another thing this year, is I'm going to try and promote my local place. Use local businesses, help local people, and then try and improve that local area. I think if more people did that, there wouldn't be so many shitty dying towns everywhere. I might even do a little tour, which would be exciting. Oh, actually, do you know where we're going to go? I'm going to go and see Charlie's in. Charlie Speed. I haven't seen him for years. He just got married. Poor bastard. <laughs> but no, his missus is lovely, so. Come on then, fuck stick. And do you know what the best thing I feel? You can probably sense it. You can probably sense how good I feel. 
is that I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of this fucking shithole and I can't wait. Well, I'm already out. It's amazing. My office is like, it's like a money laundering business from Breaking Bad. It's really shit, but the efficiencies are insane. My last office in Soho cost me about 50,000 a year and this one costs me six. 6,000. That's like a 90% reduction in costs. You can't argue with that, no matter how shit it is. And it's got fibre optic broadband, whereas the one in Soho didn't. Can you believe that? You can't get fibre optic in Soho, the heart of the media industry in, in the UK, possibly Europe, and possibly even the world, actually. No, can't get fibre here, mate. So I'm just super happy now. And um, I don't care if it's not glamorous. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's amazing. It takes, it takes me 10 minutes to get to work on a bike, maybe 20 in a car. It's like this morning, if it was too cold, I could just jump in the car, drive down. I might buy a car, actually. I might fancy a car, considering I don't actually own one. I own a van and a Jeep. So everything, actually, I'm just really, really excited and happy. And I've managed to get a couple of jobs out in my new office, which is great. That pays the bills. That pays the running costs for that office for a year already. I've paid it, I've done in these two jobs, which is just phenomenal, really. So, and it's, uh, what day is it? January the 18th. January the 17th for video references, just in case I do something wrong. So, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Can you believe I'm saying this? Is this, is this the real me? I am happy. Um, so anyway, so, so I just need a bit more time to sort my shit out and just sort out the channel, sort out my channel, like what it is, what, like categorizing the videos a bit better, getting playlists in there, because it's very hard to cater for everyone's needs. Some people like track stuff, some people like moaning stuff, some people like GS stuff, some people like all these things. So I'm going to try and just organize that a whole lot better and, and, actually, and ultimately focus on making more content. And it's like today, nothing's going to change because I didn't, I don't live in London anymore. I don't work in London. I'll just come into London for meetings or actually purposefully come in to do a cool video. So um, my friend Charlie, who we did the Euro video with, he used to live on that road. And when we, when we set off, literally just there, and when we set off to go on the 24 hour trip on a brand new GS 1200 to like fully laden, he left from there and he crashed there. <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't his fault. Some illegal cab driver pulled out just from a parking space, like pulled straight into the road and he went, oh fuck. And it's actually a really tall bike and um, he had to put the brakes on and it was going that way and there was like a pothole there and he couldn't hold it so he just jumped off. <laughs> it was under a hundred yards. <laughs> And that set the, the tone for the rest of the trip. I love that trip. I'm going to do it again. But I'm going to spend some more time in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. Bow, oh. bow, bow. And this is Kew Bridge. This is quite a nice area of London. As you can see, it's, it's traffic free. Um, really easy to get around. M4 and Yas Marina Blue, very nice. Ford Focus in Banana Yellow, RS, RS or ST? ST. I had a story once about a car being transported through London on a car transporter and the congestion charge cameras picked up its number plate and charged him for not paying the congestion charge. Uh, I mean, technically, the vehicle's there, but what a bunch of pricks. Oh, bin lorries stink. Blech. Open the flap. Oh, breathe it. Breathe that pollution. This is Kew Gardens on the right here, as we travel through. I've never actually been in. I think I'd quite like to. 
by all accounts, the butterfly house is quite remarkable. Look at this wank stain just taking up lane two. <clears throat> I was on the phone. Move over, you fucking prick. Someone threw an egg at me once at that roundabout. Fucking an, an egg. Threw an egg at me through the car window. Hit me on the side of the head. <laughs> These kids flagged me down. Like, going round the roundabout. And they're like, oh, oh, oh mate, mate, like, like, open your window. And I was like, what? And I was just having a really chilled out evening listening to BBC Radio 2. After a hectic night. And uh, they're like, oh, mate, 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 stop, stop, roll your window down. And I was like, oh, my God, what's happening here? They rolled your window down. I rolled my window down. And he fucking recoiled and threw this egg straight at my face. <laughs> and then just as like the, the exit that I was taking, I, I was kind of coming off, so there's no way of chasing him. Oh, and they're all like, <laughs> yeah, wank, ah! <laughs> and I was like, for fuck's sake. That was in my old 911, my classic 964 Turbo 911. And uh, egg just exploded all over the interior, and I stopped at that petrol station to wipe it all off. Bastards. I rang the police and said, look, there's a bunch of pricks driving around throwing eggs at people, and uh, I'm here now sorting, sorting my shit out. And they were like, oh, yeah, all right, mate. Well, you know, once we catch the murderers and rapists, we'll come and find the bloke that threw an egg. <laughs> I was like, thanks, guys. Thanks. That's where crime starts. They keep saying drug addiction starts with marijuana. Maybe, maybe serious organised crime starts with egg throwing.